This is a video about how to easily generate a Sovereign DID and key pair using just your browser. I'm going to be demoing on, Win or on Mac, but uh, the experience should be very similar on Windows as well because we're just going to use a browser and a text editor. And um, I'm going to begin by opening a browser window and I'm going to go to GitHub where a lot of source code is stored and we're going to look for the source code that belongs to the Sovereign Foundation. We're going to look in its launch repo. So I'm just going to browse there and I see that there is a package called SovereignKeyGen.zip. I'm going to download that and uh, once I've downloaded that I'm going to go look it up uh, in my uh, downloads folder. There it is. Now on Windows, uh, you'll have a similar shortcut if you right click on this. Something like uh, decompress or open or unzip. I'm going to um, open that. And so now I uh, see that inside of the zip file, there is a folder. And inside the folder, there's index.html and this JavaScript file. I'm going to open index.html in my browser by double clicking and read what it says. So it says, first, make sure you're viewing this page in an incognito or private browsing tab. Aha. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to go up and say, new incognito window. Um, if I were on Safari, I would say new private window. If I were on, I would say new private window. But uh, I'll just use um, Chrome here. So uh, new incognito window. And now I need to reload that file in that window. So let's uh, go open a file and go find the one that I just was looking at. Okay, that, I'm done with step one. Step two is inspect the source code to make sure it's harmless. So let's go look at that. View page source. Now you don't have to be an HTML whiz here, but uh, what you're looking for is where is code. So I see a script tag, and that references the JavaScript file that I um, was part of the uh, zip file. Then I see a bunch of uh, style stuff that just says how, you know, the font that the page has, and then this is the text of the page. None of that is interesting. It's just boring old stuff. If I look down here, I've got one other script uh, block in the page, and all that this script is doing looks like it converts a number to base 58. Um, it looks up something on the web page, it changes the style on the page, um, it uh, pokes in a value on a page, uh, and uh, it looks like it does some converting with uh, hexadecimal notation. Here's where it's doing something interesting. It's using the NACL. Uh, this is the tweet NACL.js library, which is actually referenced on this page. There's a hyperlink to it. I'm going to just go see what it looks like. This looks legit. Um, so anyway, it's using that library. And what else is it doing? Well, it's just converting um, stuff to a hexadecimal representation. This looks fine. Nothing here that's interesting. It's just um, responding to clicks on the page. So I think this is legit code. OK. Looks harmless. Temporarily disconnect this machine from the internet so you know that secrets can't leak. OK. I'm going to go. Uh, you're going to have to trust me on this because my mouse is going to wander off uh, frame. But anyway, uh, disconnect from the internet by turning off my wireless on the laptop. OK. Now click the button and follow the instructions that appear. Great. Aha, so now I have some secrets. Um, a signing key, that's a private key in a public private key pair. And a seed, which is the same, basically the same secret, but it's in a form useful for the sovereign CLI. So essentially these are two different representations of the same uh, secret stuff. It says, control of either of these secrets is what protects your identity. Handle them with care. Okay, I'm going to be careful with them. Transfer these secrets to a password manager. That would be like LastPass or 1Password or uh, HashiCorp Vault or I use PassPack. Um, so that's one option here. Or I could just write these down on a piece of paper. Or I could print them and put them on physical paper in a safe. Um, I think I'm going to use the print option because it's easy to demo. So I'll just print here. Click Print and um, Voila, you can assume that um, out came the piece of paper. So I now have a record of these secrets. Okay, 
Fine, the secrets are safe. Next step. Okay, now I've got green or public data here, a DID and a public or verification key. And uh, these I should save also, but then I can share these. So um, it says um, that I'll need them when I want to publish them on Sovereign, and then I can keep them in the same place as the private secrets or put them somewhere else as long as I can know that this verification key goes with the other key that I just uh, saved off in a top secret location. So I'm going to um, go ahead and print these as well. Okay, now I've got those printed and um, I think I might also um, save these in a file um, just for convenience, so let's uh, let's do that. Okay, uh, I have to copy and paste here, so let me go back and uh, copy these. Okay, I've copied, uh, and now go over here, paste them, and now I'm going to save them as my keys, my pub keys dot text. Great. Okay, now I'll go back over here, see what it tells me to do next. When you've saved this, click the button to continue. Last step, erase all save state. If you use the clipboard or other services that could save state, it's important to clean up. Exit the browser. Okay, so when I get out of my incognito tab, the browser will um, throw away all of the information that it knew. Then it says power off the machine, let it sit for a minute or two to guarantee that its RAM decays, then reboot and reconnect the machine to the internet and you are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and this concludes my demo.